Supposing you are one of the many African Americans who feel that the police, one obvious sense of source of authority in society, do not represent your interests, do not have your interests at heart, are not protecting you and your community in an inner city in the United States. Is that a form of authority which they should be respecting and taking account of? Or do they have a legitimate, legitimate case to say, this is something that is widely recognized as authoritative, but we don't feel it should be for us? Oh, sure, it's very understandable. But one has to understand that, um, I mean, if I can back up to answer the question, that uh, I, I reread recently um, Lenin's uh, attack on Rosa Luxemburg, which is called infantile leftism. And I realized that he was totally right and Rosa Luxemburg was totally wrong. Is this the only time yeah. in your life you've endorsed Lenin? Yes. <laughs> no, well, I'm becoming more Leninist by the day, I think. <laughs> um, but the point is that in the end, you need a party, you need authority, you have to work within a system of something. And there is a kind of infantile leftism that talks about authority in the way Kafka talked about the castle. There's authority, there's the wall. And we have social movements where we come up and we're ramming the door. And every once in a while, authority tosses things down to us, right? That is not the way democracies work. And we cannot exaggerate the problems of legitimacy in our democracies that no, there are doors into the, into, the, into the castle. There are conversations about how, about things we might do. Certain people have more voice than others. That's absolutely right. But it is not a wall. And one consequence of infantile leftism is that in rejecting authority, if it throws itself into the hands of the so-called people yeah. and one populist tribune yeah, yeah. that pretends to speak for the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a long list of that beginning from the Soviet Union down to Hugo Chavez and a certain kind of infantile leftist that falls in love with these truly authoritarian figures because they're against authority. Well, I, I, I agree with that in, in part because indeed, if you're going to do politics by majority vote, which, 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 ends up with uh, Chavez or Urban, this, this, this fellow in, in Hungary, as an example, or God help us, uh, Donald Trump. That's where you're appealing, with, not you, but one is appealing to a, a majority rule, we vote, and then the minority is crushed. You jail your political opponents and so forth. But there's a third way, which is not infantile. It's an optimism about self-organizing humans, free humans. And indeed, as, as an economist, I, of course, am very enthusiastic about this notion that a market society doesn't need massive walls, massive authorities, castles to, um, to telling them what to do. I, I think you're right that if you take the political view of naive democracy, you're going to get naive results. Our, our great um, journalist in the United States in the early 20th century, H.L. Mencken, said, democracy is the theory that the common people know what they want and deserve to get it good and hard. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.